Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gaming Dan Cars. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, you should totally hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, uh, thanks for watching. Now, today we're going to talk about two BMWs that were released uh, yesterday. This is Wednesday. They were released on a Tuesday, and I'm sort of, I'm sort of geeking out uh, hardcore here. But I'm a BMW fan, and that's what we do. Now, before we get into the topic, you were looking at my desktop. This was the M8 Grand Coupe concept. I think this is a really cool picture because I love the green color and sort of like the yellowish headlights, but it's like the picture is taken from like a frozen area. It's not like a real thing, but it's got the gold uh, kidney girls. I just really like this shot. So let's get right into it. Now, so we're going to always, as always, go to my favorite website, Jalopnik, and we are talking about the X5M and X6M. Now, the regular regular I say X5M has the 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo uh, the S63 as they call it that is used in the M5 600 horsepower and the competition uh, model has 617 horsepower in an SUV like that now the reason that I'm talking about this car is because it was released and I have experience with uh, the new X5 that I drove here earlier last year um, I love this car. The one that I drove actually also had a V8, but it was a twin turbo uh, with 456 horsepower. What you're seeing here on the screen is my, my actual video. Um, but I love this car. Um, obviously, you could say I'm biased because I prefer BMWs, but I like Audis now too, obviously. Always have. But I really like this car because it was fresh on the market. It has BMW's new design language. Um, but these cars here, yeah, those girls are huge. These cars here are um, something else. They're uh, definitely on another level. Now, it's like I said before, 600 and 625 horsepower or 617 brake horsepower, whatever it is. But this car, um, the X5M is not quite really controversial, but the X6M is, and I don't understand why, okay? Because um, we know that people want SUVs and we know that people want fast SUVs. Um, I did a video a couple months ago on the X3M, which is, you know, a fast SUV. I mean, there's a certain finite amount of people that can afford slash want this car, but everybody always has hated on the X6 and I don't understand it. Um, BMW sort of was the first uh, of the uh, coupe SUVs, which I hate that term by the way. It's not a, it's not a coupe, it has four doors. But BMW did the X6, and then everybody else followed. Mercedes did the GLE Coupe. Now Porsche has the Cayenne Coupe. So, in essence, the X6 was sort of like the the first pioneer for the coupe-like big SUVs. But I really, really like the styling. This blue color is gorgeous too. And now I love the blacked-out kidney grills. The grills are bigger. We know with BMW, it's been a trend lately. But I really think it looks really good, and it's not, it's not, I don't want to say AMG models are over the top with their styling, because they kind of are, but they're kind of not. Um, but this car is awesome, in, in design-wise. I think it looks really good. Yeah, here's the X6M. I think the X6M might actually look a little better than the X5M. It's a big SUV. Um, it'll go 0-60 to 60 in under 4 seconds, and even further under in the competition trim. But look, I mean, yes, it has the slant back. That is the only difference from the X5M in the X6M. But yeah, I think it looks really good. Now, Autoblog had some really nice pictures here that we're going to check out. Yeah, I think the interior looks awesome. It has this really cool looking quilting on the inside of the seats right here. The interior is the same design as before, but now obviously they have the, hopefully you can see this, my picture might be in the way. Um, it has the M1 and the M2 buttons on the steering wheel. It's This X6M, I think, has just pretty much been released as a car. Um, the X5 has been out for a while. You know, I drove that one. But I think it looks really good. I love this. I, I don't know what the blue color is, but I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, this right here. I feel like if you had a BMW, which I don't, but I know people that do, that I would totally black out the kidneys right away and the mirrors. It just looks so good. The chrome... Kidney grills are, are a thing of the past. But yeah, I think um, this car in the non-competition spec will start at just under $100,000. But 600 horsepower for $100,000 is surely that's a lot of money. Um, something I can't afford or will never afford for a long time. But 
I really like uh, the styling and everything about this car. I think it I think it looks better than the Mercedes equivalent. That's the other thing. Audi has not released in the United States an RS Q7. Um, we don't even get an SQ7. That is only for Europe and you know across the pond. So if you're really in the market for a fast as hell full size SUV, well this doesn't have a third row, but a luxury SUV. This is pretty much, I'd say, the best one on the market. I, I don't know. Something about the Porsche Cayenne. I don't know. It, it is very nice. I think these two would be the best to choose from if you're looking for a super performance SUV. Um, and the X6 has been controversial too, but there's both of them. But I, I don't know. You, you sacrifice a little bit in styling with the coupe here, but if, if you can afford a car like this at $100,000, you can also afford a... a different car that could have more space. I mean, you could get, a, I don't know, an X3 along with your X6M. But yeah, I, I think it's it's a question, this is an answer to a question that not many people are answering because all the comments I've seen, especially here in Jalopnik, are saying, you know, why does this even exist and they're so bored with this and why why do we even have to write this? But I, I like it. I especially like this blue color and this car looks especially good in the black with the blacked out kidneys and everything. So. This is the X5M and X6M. I like them a lot. I hope my BMW dealer will get these. I don't know if I'll ever get to have a chance um, behind the wheel, but my my Sun Motors BMW, my local dealer, my home away from home, they have been getting some sick M cars lately. They've got the X3M, the X4M, they have the M8, M8 convertible, and the M8 or a 8 series Grand Coupe, which I hope I can get some time behind the wheel of that car or just to poke around it. So this is the X5M and X6M that are not officially been unveiled but we get to see what they look like. I think they might be unveiled this coming up soon uh, at a DTM race in Germany. But as far as the looks go, I love it. Price is awesome. Price is very high but you, you know, it's to be expected for an uber you know, fast SUV that will go 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. So what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, uh, at Gaming Dion Cars. Um, got a lot of cool stuff coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.